When I think of the type of work we do, I'm inspired because of the benefit that it does for society. I just don't ever think I could get behind working for a company that delivered a product that I wasn't proud of, right? And when we talk about delivering clean water, whether that's treating water or delivering clean water, I'm proud of that. And so I love my small role in, in supporting that. Growing up, my dad actually owned a construction company. And so I was around excavators and moving dirt uh, from a young age, but never had any idea of doing this. I was always interested in water and structures and Heck, I thought it'd be designing dams or something like that. After I interned in 2012 and 2013, I moved up to Virginia with Garney's Pipe Operation and began building work in 2014 and built work and operations for about 10 years um, with Steve Ford and Jordan Carrier and Mike Hall and Will Kennedy and lots of other great people up there. In 2022, I got the opportunity to kind of shift gears and transition into a full-time technology role which I wasn't necessarily leading cutting edge technology on my job sites, but I knew I had a passion to learn and thought this was a unique way that I could serve the company and, and, and try something different. And so in 22, we started the construction technology role. The years of 2022 and 2023 were really us figuring out what we wanted that to be and to look like. And so it was pure research and development. We were testing all sorts of things radios, drones, GPS, and most of it was me just learning. 2024 was our first year that we really started to hit stride in terms of delivering results for the company. Walking through just kind of high level some of the technology we use, probably the most basic and the one that most people are familiar with is surveying equipment. So with surveying equipment, we have basic tools like GPS surveying or total stations, which allow our field teams to understand precise locations in space and lay out design or the reverse, take as built shots of what's already been installed. Another neat tool that is being used right now is drones. Drones allow us to scan the existing topography and then make sense of that data. So we can run analyses on it, like understanding the size of a stockpile or how close we are to finish grade. And then of course, we also have elements of technology built into our equipment. A notable example of that is rod radar. Probably heard of rod radar. It's ground penetrating radar built into an excavator bucket. This is an excavator bucket that has ground penetrating radar built into the bottom of it, which lets us scan before we dig to avoid utility strikes. Technology 10 years ago had components of what we're doing today in terms of drones and GPS surveying equipment and software in the field. A big difference is the cost. 10 years ago, the drone that we're using now in most of our projects would probably cost $50,000. Today, it's $5,000. Technology is deflationary by nature. So the technology is getting cheaper. It's also getting better. And then we're also seeing the new added layers of uh, really AI, which is enabling autonomy in these things, as well as just improvements in hardware, which enable the uh, robotics. One example of how we're using technology to make us safer is in drone deploy right now, we're generating 360 walks. So you walk a job site with a 360 camera, it documents it like the Google Street View. We now have enabled in drone deploy uh, an AI layer that reviews that data and points out safety hazards and highlights them, points out the OSHA standard. So we have that now, it's, you know, AI and is essentially acting like another set of eyes on a project. The technology world changes very quickly. And if we think it's changing quickly now, let's wait 10 years and see how quickly it's changing then. That pace has only gone and quickened. And so our focus has to be on outpacing our competition in terms of how fast we can learn. And that means how we perform research and development. That means how quickly we can get these things stood up and built into the business. And also how ready and willing we are to change when we realize that, hey, this process is no longer suitable for us. This other process is, okay, let's pivot. And then we're not attached to any one system or any one process that we have a forward thinking mindset that is, how do we build this job as safe, efficient, productive as we possibly can and let that drive our decisions. The most rewarding part about my job is definitely the people. I love seeing people succeed. I love empowering people. And that's one of the reasons I just come to work motivated as I align with Garney's goal of allowing all employee owners to achieve their full potential. And I, I love my small part in that. <laughs>